camera's all good? Go ahead. Zach, uh, congratulations on the innings. Uh, with the context of this match and, and the sort of full home Ashes crowd, how, how important was that one for you? Oh, you know, every Ashes knock's important, but that, that was, yeah, and no, I, was, I was very pleased with how I played and how it went and, and the position we're in at the moment in the series. Um, you know, we're fighting back nicely, so we're in a good position to, to push this game forward now, so uh, hopefully we do that. How, how much fun was it? You know, it was, you don't, you don't get a knock like that every day. <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun, you know, I, I rode my luck at times, um, but played some nice shots along the way and I enjoyed those, so... Um, batting with Mo is always fun as well. He's a funny guy, and um, and Rusi just takes so much pressure off you when you're batting. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed today. You, you know, obviously that Baz and, and Ben have been asked about you a lot about your place. They've been rock solid in their support, never wavered. Did, you know, has that been something that you've been aware of? And, and does it feel nice to to give them a, a big payoff today? Yeah, absolutely. I, it's fair to say. I, under any other coach or captain, I probably wouldn't be playing this series. So um, to be backed by them, it gives me a lot of confidence. And they've always said to me, just don't worry about being consistent. Just try and go and win games for England. And um, it'd be really nice if we win this game. And hopefully I've contributed to that. And, that was a long way to go. Uh, can I just ask, was, was the speed, which you know, you, 189 better than a runner ball? Or like, was the speed that you went about things, was that motivated by the weather forecast, by the the desire to move this game on, on quick or was it just a case of you playing your natural game and you know seeing the ball as, as you like to see it yeah I was just trying to be natural game you know they're such good bowlers that I feel if I if I sit there for too long they're probably gonna they're gonna get me so I like to be positive against them and you know I've scored quicker in this series than I have against most and I think that's just the quality of their bowlers you know I'm just I don't want to sit there for too long otherwise you know like I say I think there's a good ball in there so um, you know, like I said, I, I bowed well at times and scored quickly, really quickly in, in certain patches and tried to absorb it and get a few singles in other times. But um, no, we haven't really focused too much on the weather. We're just controlling what we can control. And um, if that comes, then we'll worry about that later in the game. We'll go Chris, Vish, Mel and Sonia. Um, hi, Zach. You, you guys have had some special moments the last 14 months as a team, but today, um, as a group of players, do you, do you feel like that's possibly the, the best you've played under Baz and Ben? Fair enough. I feel like I felt in better touch at other times, but there was after my hundred that was as good as I felt. But before my hundred, actually, I felt in better nick at other times. But I think that, you know, like I said, I rode my luck a few times, and um, and like I say, in little periods, I felt in really good nick today. But it wasn't actually that easy to score at times, which might sound really arrogant. But um, it was, it was, you know, there was the times when I was struggling to to score and felt like you know I was going to chip one to cover or something, but. Um, no, I was, I, was ha I was happy with how I played today. It was, it was positive and, you know, I took a punt against their bowlers, but um, it came off. And, and in terms of the, the team's approach, does today feel like vindication for sticking to that positive style, even though, you know, you've had highs and lows as a team during this series? Yeah, I think we've shown that it, it suits our players to, to be positive and, um, you know, at other times we absorb pressure, but most of the time we just try and put pressure back on them and get them thinking about what they're doing rather than what we're doing and um, yeah and I feel like today was you know a really good day for that and, and even yesterday like Wokesy bowled so well and we were putting pressure on them with the ball and I think it works both bat and ball and you know we, we've played really well so far this game for the last two days and you know hopefully hopefully we continue that next couple of days Fish Hi Zach um, you've spoken in the past about um, wanting to be an entertaining player you know someone who you know, um, gets people on the edge of their seats, and you reference KP as someone who you idolise. That six off Mitch, Mar Mitch Marsh, that kind of short arm jab for six over wide long, like, well, wide long on. Sorry, was very KP. Um, did you feel like someone of, of that ilk? Did you feel like you were kind of emulating there in terms of control and how you were making them run around? <laughs> no, I've never, I've never felt as good as KP to be honest. No, I've never, I mean, uh, I've, I've played some good shots today. And I was really, I was really happy with how I played, but um, no, I'm a long way behind KP, and I don't think I'll ever feel like that as good, that good. But um, we'll, we'll see one day, maybe. McCullum's spoken in the past about how he sees a lot of himself in you. Has that been a conversation that you've ever had with him or he's had with you about, I suppose, his journey to where he ended up with an incredible body of work? Yeah, absolutely. We, we chat a lot and he's really good at that, having this little conversation with you about playing. And I understand what he means. I feel like in, in some ways we are similar, um, you know, 
well, I'm at my best when I'm attacking and trying to put pressure on them and so is he and he maybe wasn't the most consistent but he played some incredible knocks uh, I think that's what he wants from me as well and um, you know, as long as they want that from me I'm more than happy to, to take that punt at the top of the order and uh, lastly from me you mentioned that partnership with Mo um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago maybe during the Lord's Test um, Stokes mentioned that you and Mo had basically a two day argument about something could you tell us what that was? Well, we have a lot of arguments. I reckon if he's um, referencing it in the media, he must have been talking about the North-South. We were discussing who was better in T uh, T20 cricket. And obviously, I'm, there's not many Southerners in the team, so I was fighting an uphill battle. But then all the Southern teams won the quarterfinals, so it was. I just sat there smugly for a couple of days after. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's a light-hearted debate, but um, Mo, Mo is a funny guy, though. He makes me laugh. Mel, then we'll go Sonia. I just actually wanted to ask about Mo because you said before, uh, uh, well, a couple of times now, that he's a funny uh, guy to bat with. But was there anything out there that he said today that was funny that you can share? Um, I mean, he's always just the way he says things like he hits fours and he'll hit a cover drive one point and shot the day that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's joking, but it, it was shot the day, by the way. It was an unbelievable shot off Cummins. But um, he says things like that and he's, it's all lighthearted, but. He just trying to create a relaxed environment out there, and um, and he really does that, and that helps me actually. So I enjoy batting them. And the, what I want to ask you is, that you you often seem uh, quite unflustered, even when, as you say, riding your luck. Uh, and I was just wondering when you, when there are those edges, inside edges, or ball goes aerial, play and a miss, uh, are you as unflustered as you look? Is it easy for you to just you know what? brush away that shot or is there a process you go through to sort of reset and refocus for the next ball no I'm a big believer in luck to be honest and so I I just you know if I if I get a bit of luck I just go oh, that's, that's my bit of luck for the day or, you know it doesn't I don't feel like oh I've got unlucky. you know I've got away with one or ever I just think oh you know luck everyone gets a bit of luck and everyone gets a bit of bad luck and um you know, you just got to ride that wave, and uh, I, I, I certainly got my, my share of luck today. Um, and you know, and it came off. We'll take one each going forward. So Sonia, Scott, Mike, George, Dan, and then we'll finish with Will. Let's Zach, you, over the last six months, you've had to sort of defend your technique and spoken about how you stay away from social media. Yeah. How nice is it then to look at this, given what's happened before? To be honest with you, that, that doesn't make a difference to me. You know, I um, the only thing that matters to me is enjoying my cricket and, and 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 playing playing well. You know, what other people have to say about myself, you know, is none of my business really. I don't I don't really I don't really care. And um, you know, I just try and get better each day. And and you know, I'll, I'll try and get better tomorrow as well. And today doesn't change that. Zach, you, you mentioned you know sort of vindication in ball theory and putting pressure back on the opposition and having them thinking about what you're doing, not what they're doing. Did, did you feel at times today like Australia were perhaps a little bit rattled out there, particularly in that second session and they were well off their normal game? Um, it's hard to rattle them, to be honest. They, they, I don't mean they were, they're truly rattled. It was a good pitch to bat on and we were obviously pushing ahead. Um, so certainly, they, I think they felt like they were behind the, the, behind the game. Um, but they're one of the best teams that keep sticking with it. Actually, they keep sticking with it, and um, they 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 tried everything all day, and they got a couple of you know big wickets at the end there. So you know there wasn't a lot in it for them, and, and Joe batted so well to put the pressure on them as well. So um, no, I, I thought they stuck to it pretty well. Mike, uh, Zach, well batted. When you've gone through a run of promising starts without going on to convert any of them, do you ever doubt yourself and think, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll just block it now. I'll just I'll, I'll just block for Britain rather than playing your shots do you ever doubt yourself I mean those thoughts always come into your head yeah absolutely I mean uh, when I got out of Henley I got a couple of nice knocks there but didn't convert them and um, yeah I was I was thinking you know I was thinking too much about the score rather than being immersed in the moment like Baz always talks about that about being present and I think I was a lot more present today and I think that helped me go on and uh, get a big score rather than worrying about getting a big score before you're already there Finish off with Dan Brain to our left and then Will McPherson. Go ahead, Dan. Good day, Zach. Um, just wanted to ask you about, you, you know, you talked about the clarity of mindset and being comfortable with being an inconsistent player who can have a great day. Can you take us back to, I suppose, 
the time when you were trying to, I suppose, be a bit more orthodox and a bit more kind of consistent in your approach, I suppose, per the way, say, Joe would play? Like, mm. that sort of the, the struggle, I guess, with that? Yeah, I was just trying to um, sit on bowlers and, you know, make them come to me and and try and build an innings like that. And, um, you know, I found that at this level you get so many good balls, especially at the top of the order, that... Um, you know, I wasn't. I was getting a couple of nice scores and then getting out, and um, you know, it wasn't really me. I always felt like an, an itch to, to attack a bit more, and um, you know, there's when you're playing with such great players like Joe and Stokesy, and you know, you try and emulate them a lot, but uh, there comes a point when you have to bat your own way as well. Um, and I think, yeah, just just trying to be a bit more positive is more like me. Will and then Steph to finish. Zach, could you um, talk us through the kind of game plan from here? Obviously, there is a bit of weather about, and you don't want to get too deep into the forecast and worry about that. But sort of what, how, how Ben might be looking at it, and whether a declaration might be in play, or, or yeah, just talk us through the plan. I'm actually not sure anything could happen with Stokesy, but um, I feel like um, while the balls, two very good players at the crease, and Johnny still to come, and good tail and tail and batters, um, I think. I don't know, but I think the game plan will probably be to bat once and try and bat well tomorrow. Maybe if we lose a couple of wickets early, then that might change. But I, I'd have thought it would be to, to try and get a big lead and and bowl them out and not have to bat again. But that'd be absolutely ideal if that happened. And we're fully expecting. Um, I think it's a good wicket to bat on now, and it, it might get worse. But um, you know, I'm expecting them to bat well for third innings. Steph. Um. Zach, just picking up on your uh, d- north-south debate with Mo. I don't know if you saw this, but before the series, Ben was asked to describe all of the team in one word. He said you were argumentative. <laughs> just wondered, is that fair? What, what did you make of that? Well, I feel like you're only argumentative if someone's willing to have an argument with you. So <laughs> I'd say he's argumentative. But um, no, I, I, I'm stubborn, certainly. And um, and I like a debate on things, so maybe he's right. But I was, I was hoping for a nicer word than that, but yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. Beautiful, thank you. Thank you. Here's that.